Hi everyone, my name is Josiane and I, I'm I supposed to do the uh, intertextual dialogue video and as the first one I'm kind of nervous, I'm totally nervous, I'm a wreck of nervous um, and I, I've chose uh, I've chosen to dialogue with Sorry by Gail Jones, the painting uh, by Frida Kahlo, The Broken Column. Uh, I'll give away to, I will find a way to expose this painting to you in, in this video. Um, Um, in my opinion, um, reminds a lot uh, many aspects of the novel, uh, of Gail Jones' novel, uh, because it's a very um, English painting, and when we look at, uh, at this painting, we feel we, we hurt ourselves uh, because of the, the hurtful elements uh, that it contains. Um, Frida, it's a self-portrait, but uh, Frida's self-portrait. And in this painting, she's wearing a, a corset. Um, and this corset has stripes uh, which sustain sustains sustain her her body and we have the impression that if she retires these stripes uh, her body will kind of um, um, tear down okay uh, she has um, an ionic, uh, ionic column, totally um, damaged. Even though being ionic, ionic, an ionic column, uh, it is totally, um, totally broken. Uh, her body, her face, her body is covered with nails. And this is very um, painful, a very painful Im Im image. Um, let me see what more. Even though uh, all this pain, she, she gazes, she, she stares at our, our, she stares at us um, peacefully, as if she as she as if she was not feeling nothing anything uh, this is very strange and reminds the narrator character nameless narrator character uh, all her pain and all her anguish um, this um, this thing of she is not be she is not able to talk to express herself in words and Frida's mouth is closed in the painting uh, the landscape be, uh, behind her self portrait uh, reminds of the landscape described in the novel by the narrator character and this there are no trees in, in the landscape, in the painting, but uh, reminds all the desolation that Stella uh, describes to us. Um, the desolation that Stella feels when she arrives at us in Australia. Um, this, this painful image also remembers, reminds uh, Nicholas, Nicholas uh, pain, 
with uh, regarding the war, the the shrapnels, the brothers he lost in the war, uh, he necessity of um, prove proving uh, his manhood and reminds even more Stella Spain because uh, Stella is dragged off, uh, dragged out of, out of his sis her sisters and got married but uh, there was not any passion in, in her marriage um, there was not uh, any there was not any Shakespearean <laughs> Shakespearean stuff in the in, in the way in, in her wedding in her, her marriage itself in her relationship with Nicholas and it was all was very uh, hard, arid, uh, dry, and I think this this painting, this image, um, reminds lots of the uh, reminds a lot the anguish exposed in these two characters of the novel. Um, in her eyes, in Frida's eyes, in the painting, we see um, tears. We can see tears in the painting, and these tears brought me uh, the image of the wounds that uh, our narrator character uh, is not able to expose, to bring out. And I thought the, the, I, I think this is a contradiction in the painting because um, her, uh, Frida's looking is very peaceful and our narrator character is uh, self tormented I don't know, I, I think it's this. And yes, yeah, so I think it's this. <laughs> I I can't think very well in front of a camera and it's this. Goodbye. <laughs>